Hi everybody, this is Katie Kamen with Live 5 News. I am currently live on the scene here of a deadly collision, a deadly accident in Georgetown County. We don't have many details at this time other than we know that there are, there's at least one fatality. We don't know the status of any other victims. I am gonna turn around the camera or at least attempt to so that you all can see what is happening here. Um, there are agencies from all over Georgetown County, Georgetown City. Um, we probably have at least six or eight fire trucks here on the scene. Now, just to update you on where we are, this is Browns Ferry Road. Um, we're right up the street from the elementary school. It's near the intersection of Johnson Road here in Georgetown County. For those of you just joining us now, this is a deadly collision in Georgetown County on Browns Ferry Road. When I was up closer to the scene, I'm, I've stepped back a little bit because of some service issues here, but when I was here earlier, closer, it looks like a large white bus that has collided with a black um, SUV. As I said before, officials have told us that it is a deadly accident. We don't know how many victims, if there's just one, we don't know the identity of the victims. We're still working to find all of that out, what may have caused it. We do know that it happened just after 740 this morning here in Georgetown County. A reminder of my location is a fatal collision on South Carolina 51. It's also known as Browns Ferry Road near Johnson Road in Georgetown County. Now this is according to the South Carolina Department of Public Safety. It happened, oh, excuse me, it was around 719 this morning um, as a result of this collision. Uh, this whole stretch of road is closed. I would not come down Browns Ferry if you can. Up in the distance there is that elementary school. So if you are coming down Browns Ferry, know that you're going to be stopped at the elementary school. You're going to have to be diverted around this area. It's closed up. Um, I think there's Prior Drive up there in the distance. Perhaps if you need to get in this area, you can go up by Prior Drive. Now, as I said, there are probably several dozen law enforcement officers and firefighters here on scene up closer. They have uh, put up a tent. They are, are still investigating. It seems like they're going to be here for a while. The accident happened around 715, 720 this morning. Uh, law enforcement uh, first responders have been on scene since then. We do know for those of you who are just joining us, it is a fatal accident. When I was up closer to the scene a little bit ago, Looks like a large white bus um, and a black SUV have gotten into an accident. It, um, our crews here, it, it looks it looks like a fairly, fairly bad accident. Um, we don't know the status of any of the victims or victim or any identities. We're working to find that out. Um, but there is Georgetown County Fire and EMS. I saw something Midway Fire Rescue, lots of different law enforcement agencies here investigating. Again, it happened at 719 this morning. Um, if you all have any questions, please feel free to chime in. We are still working to uncover as many details as possible. Um, lots of law enforcement presence out here along Brown's Ferry Road near that elementary school. Um, folks in the area tell me that they have seen several accidents along this road, that it's fairly winding that people go quickly. Um, some of the neighbors tell me that they are just heartbroken that this happened so close by um, to know that this happened in their neighborhood and that they um, are praying for all of those involved. As I said earlier, we don't know the stat, the, the identity of, of the victim or victims. I'm not getting too close to the scene, but here you can see several firefighters leaving. I've seen at least a dozen or more come in, don their gear, and head closer to the accident. Um, law enforcement says they plan to be here for a while to avoid this area if you can, because you cannot get through. Um, folks in the area say there are ways to get around it, but that it will add a significant amount of time on to your trip. Um, When I say involved in an accident, there was a, a bus. When I was cl up closer there, you could see that a bus and a black SUV have collided. We're still working to find out a lot of details here, but just wanted you guys to have a look at the scene to see how active of a scene it is. 
all of the firefighters, uh, highway patrol here. We have several state troopers on the scene as well. Again, this is in Georgetown County. We have multiple law enforcement agencies here investigating or assisting with this. Midway Fire and Rescue, I saw that they also I think they're from Pawleys Island. We have Georgetown County, Georgetown City. Law enforcement is here as well. Um, it happened around 719 this morning is what officials tell us here along Browns Ferry Road, also known as South Carolina 51, right uh, near the intersection of Johnson Road, near that elementary school up there. So I think there are at least six to eight fire trucks here on scene. They've been here since I got here around 10 30 10 45 there have been at least six to eight fire trucks uh, I see several EMS of uh, ambulances that sort of thing and definitely several dozen first responders here whether they're police officers or with highway patrol the Georgetown County Sheriff's Office is also out here um, this is happening in Georgetown County on Browns Ferry Road right near Johnson Road. It's also known as South Carolina 51. Um, law enforcement says just definitely try and avoid this area. As you can see, I mean, it's all the way backed up. Now, law enforcement won't even let you get down here. Um, they have the intersection blocked up there at the elementary school or near the elementary school. Um, when I was up closer to the scene a little bit ago, I could tell that it was a white bus that was in the accident with a black SUV. Um, we don't have any information other than we know that it is a fatal accident. So we don't know any status of victims, any injuries, that sort of thing. We're working to find out all these details. Of course, we will bring you the latest as we learn more. We're gonna try and continue reaching out to officials to get as much information as possible. They have told me they plan to be on scene for a while. Um, so try and avoid this as much as you can. It happened at 719 here. Lots of fire trucks from lots of different law enforcement agencies. Now, I was talking with some neighbors here in the area. They said they kept hearing sirens and kept seeing the flashing lights early this morning, but there was a festival down the street. That's initially what they thought maybe this, all this action was. And then they were just heartbroken to find out that it was actually a fatal collision here now we'll get a little bit closer to the scene but as you can see there's georgetown county fire and dms that's also another georgetown county fire and dms the midway fire just left there's a state trooper here um we're told that they are also investigating um i'm gonna lift up the camera so y'all can see a little bit closer still up closer to the scene there are lots of law enforcement agencies they've put up a tent um some of the officers here have said that you know it's really hot they're trying to be as careful as